as the election approaches, if you're feeling some doubt, if you don't feel invested, think you'll sit this one out. If you think it won't matter if you don't even try, think your life can go on if you turn a blind eye, I ask you to consider what abstaining will do, what withholding your power brings America to. Because if you care at all about soldiers at war, about Americans dying on far distant shores, your inaction could let someone keep them away. Why not work for a man who brings them home to stay and reunites families who waited each night, praying for news that their kids were all right because Obama returned them just as he said. Iraq's finally over. We can now look ahead. And if you think women's rights is a topic of weight, that my self-determination isn't up for debate, then I just couldn't see you not fighting the man who won't admit it's insane to start a birth control ban, who thinks that my uterus is state business, not mine, that my rights to my body are for him to define. But Obama knows better. He supports us each day. He proved he was with us when he signed equal pay. And if you claim that climate change matters to you, that human survival isn't something to skew, since you know what will happen if you choose not to act, know the droughts and the hunger, that there's no turning back, then I can't understand how you'd sit by at will, when the opponent's campaign line is drill, baby, drill. And if you give two cents about equal rights, then it just stands to reason you would stand up and fight, because how could you bear it to see couples in love, who cling to each other, matches made from above, not be treated as equal, not be treated as one. Live as second class citizens, let their vows be undone, because separate's not equal. It wasn't then, it's not now. People love whom they love, and they can't be told how. But Obama's been there for the LGBT cause. No more don't ask, don't tell. Give the man some applause. Does affordable health care strike you as poor? Just the rich and the healthy, not the sick or the poor? If not, you should reject when you take it away. Who'd say the right to survive is for those who can pay? And a mother who clutches her son to her breast, never leaving his side, never taking a rest, should not just assume her insurance is there. This pre-existing condition is her charge to bear. And the thousands who die from no coverage each year should blame only themselves. Don't you think that that's clear? Well, the president didn't. He thought we were due. Affordable coverage so we could see our days through. And his Affordable Care Act brought that about. It's a big effing deal. It's okay to freak out. So look at the candidates and I know you'll agree. Supporting Obama is urgent and key, but voting this year is just not enough. The stakes are too high. The game is too rough. So we can't only vote, we must stand up and fight. We mustn't sit back, we can't cede to the right. I know you're aware of the power you hold. You've seen it in action, you don't need to be told that you are the difference, you still make the change, that your sweat and your passion don't have an exchange. So let's stand together and send a message that's clear. We are taking Obama to office this year.